Don't do it, Lloyd. Don't shoot the Doberman. Even the intro alludes to the fact that Yora can't keep up with Anya. Always slipping right out of her grasp. It works on two levels, I guess. The fact that Anya is just always running away, and also that Yora worries about her capabilities as a mother. Mission 15, a new family member. Maybe two new family members because Lloyd is not shooting this German Shepherd. He's not shooting it. He's not shooting it. Yes. Did he just get rid of the, the bomb? That's the Lloyd I... I no one love. <laughs> Maybe just give the German Shepherd a little pet pet. He just needs a little love. Yeah, Lloyd's the man. He just saw it eight steps ahead of your stupid checkers game. I'm sorry I have to put you in the trash can. What a warm heart. What a warm hearted guy, Lloyd, who's never done anything bad his entire life, even as a spy. I'm sure of it. Because I love him. <laughs> oh, you messed up. You really messed up. We saved the world, again. More importantly, no dogs were harmed. <laughs> just... Yours headache continues. Imagine Anya as a teenager. She's already independent at age four or five. <laughs> just totally diverts the car with a kick. I found a terrorist. He got into an accident all by himself. I get around. I, I ran to this other payphone like eight miles away. And now we get to enjoy a little slice of life dog loving. He said that, like, Lloyd had just finished his shift at McDonald's. Work is work, I guess. Finishing a shift at McDonald's? Otsukare-sama. Foil a terrorist plot to blow up the Prime Minister? Otsukare-sama. <laughs> well, that was convenient. Fourth member of our squad, Borf. Please call him Borf. Please call him Borf. <laughs> Mr. Dog is alright, as well. That's an acceptable alternative. That was like a six-hour bathroom break. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let her take the fall for this, Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd says nothing. But if no one knows about what Anya did, how are we going to get our Stellas? Well, you were looking for a dog. Also, we can see the future, by the way. There we go. There we go. That's my kind of head pat. That's all he wanted. Borf is a good boy. <laughs> go away. It's a family episode. No, it's time to have a family episode. We have a good thing going here. No, don't interfere. No. Tell him, Anya. We have history now in a bond. But then I rode him like a horse, and now I understand the benefits. Oh, Operation Strix. It's in jeopardy. When in doubt, just cry. No one likes crying. And just look at his face. Just look at his face and his fur. That's all you need to see. Damn, Anya has a lot of leverage. <laughs> this is like way too much leverage. Not that I'm complaining about the dog. That's my question. What about the shepherd? Did anyone let him out of the trash can? Oh, that has a double meaning. <laughs> Makes you uncomfortable. Okay, there we go. Thank you for being more specific. That's good. Giving her some responsibility. I mean, Lloyd and you are still gonna have doing most of the work, but Anya will do her best. <laughs> I mean, she's a good girl. She's just, I don't know. She's a troublemaker. Her heart is good. Handler's been through some stuff. It's a really cool contrast. The last episode with her talking about, you know, the horrors of war, with her appreciating this moment of family. And they pick up the vet bill. That's nice. <laughs> They're all thinking the same thing, probably. Lloyd's <laughs> just exhausted. This guy's burning it on three ends. This guy's overworked. I feel exactly the same Anya does right now. I've been waiting for this family bonding. Borf. 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 Oh. <laughs> oh no, sad story. Sad backstory. I think that's supposed to look sad, make us feel sad for what he's eating, but that just looks like normal dog food. But this is sad though, this part is sad. I mean, he, I, he would be right to have some distrust. 
It's okay to believe. <laughs> There's that Borf I've been waiting for. It's hard to trust after you've been burned. That's the tragedy of like seeing dogs get, or animals I guess, be abused. Or even for people. It hurts to see really beautiful things get punished. Dogs in general are just so trusting. And certain people enter relationships with their full self, you know, their, their real true hearts and give their all. But if you run into the wrong people who either don't appreciate it, which is bad enough, or worse, see that as an opportunity to take advantage, it means the possible destruction of something really beautiful and sacred. And those things don't always come back. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So no, it's a secret. No one will know. <laughs> Borf better be included in all our activities from now on. Oh, the dog is leverage. The dog is leverage. It works. It works. Dogs. Cats, great way to meet people. Yeah, see? See? See, everyone's come to Anya's house now. Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> she just she just cannot sit still for five seconds. It's relatable. I have a big dog, and you want to come over and see it. You want to come over and see it, Damien. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm, I'm horrified. I'm as shocked as Anya. Why didn't that work? That always works. What do we have left? I was hard on these guys, but I fell in love with them during the dodgeball episode. Watch your mouth. I can fall out of love. Borf. Does the job. This is not Waku Waku. <laughs> Think harder, Anya. Yes. There we go. He's a real dog. He's a good dog. Nothing like coming home to a dog that loves you. And this is the hard part of dog ownership. Brace yourself for this every day, two or three times a day. He's so good mannered, so good natured, so gentle. So yeah, name is what you chose. dismal. <laughs> That's great. Inu wa shiin no kiki wake ga nigate rashii kara boin de kubetsu ga tsuki yasui kousei ni suru to ii rashii zo. Shiin no kiki wake ga nai. Shiketsu ga ii. Another Japanese pun that's over my head. <laughs> You never know. There's like a period of discovery. Different dogs have different different skills. Some dogs just don't fetch. <laughs> Good luck with that, Yor. Nice try. I don't know. <laughs> That's a little ambitious. Meanwhile, Lloyd's having a uh, existential meltdown. Now you're good. We all know you're good. You're fine. Big doubt. Big doubt. No, you're only fooling yourself. You can't abandon Anya. There's no way. You're a family forever. I mean, admittedly, that that is the priority. There's no way he leaves Anya behind at the end of this mission. Maybe he's good at finding stuff. We're oh, gonna name him Bond Man? How about Borf Man instead? <laughs> oh, a little bow tie. Bond! That's like James Bond as well. Cool. He's a spy. We've all tried it. <laughs> Let's not lie. <laughs> An in-house bathroom, huh? This is not... As a pet owner, <laughs> this is not... This is not how this goes. <laughs> in real life, he would stand in the box and poop outside of the box. 50% of the time, it happens every time. <laughs> You're just, like, really enjoying her life, huh? This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Family sweetness. No upset. And just like that, the prologue of... Spyak's family has come to an end because <laughs> it wasn't complete without Bond, aka Borf. I'm still gonna call him Borf. Well, that was everything I wanted and needed. I forgot that this show is called Spy X Family, not just X Family. All these dog episodes are making me so 
nostalgic for the first dog I owned that we found in a, in a park. It was some kind of a retriever or chow mix, I think. Just had the best disposition ever. Super sweet, but also one time saved my mom from a, a pit bull attack. It's an interesting experience when you have a really great great dog it's a different kind of loyalty you know it's like the kind of universal love and acceptance that you want from people <laughs> that they just come with you know they don't really ask for anything or not a whole lot i don't think i even appreciated how special it was at the time i still have a lot of sadness about that but somehow they, they managed to do a really great job with bond this beautiful bear dog whoever wrote this is clearly a, a dog owner or loves dogs because they captured like the essence of dog <laughs> really well, I think, in ways I don't know how to fully explain. And it's a great thing for Anya. I mean, I think Lloyd seems concerned that it's going to distract her from her studies, but it's going to be a really good thing for her to have something to take care of and to have someone that she can lean on or rely on in a way, or have this feeling of universal regard and love. If you can't tell, I'm very excited to have this character added to the show, and I can't wait to see what they do with him. Though I suspect that from here on out, we're going to go back into the, the school story a little bit, since that's the kind of the overarching plot. Can't wait to see what comes next.